All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Chicago Bears Daily, where we post daily Chicago Bears content. If that's something you enjoy, enjoy this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. Today, we're going to be talking about Eddie Jackson just a little bit here. Bears OTAs underway. And Dr. E, I call it Eberflus, Dr. E for context. Dr. E came out, said Eddie Jackson, clear slate, and he's looking good. So, Basically, you know, Eddie, safety out of Alabama back in 2017. First two seasons, played pretty amazing. Made a Pro Bowl in his second campaign. Third year, makes another Pro Bowl. Uh, I mean, Eddie Jackson still, I think, is very talented. Uh, but he got extended. And since then, was tough, especially, like, with safeties, DBs, just in general. Like, anybody in, any any player in the secondary, like, a, a lot of them just get judged from interceptions. So, Eddie Jackson's been without an interception in the last two seasons. After having two his rookie year, six his second year, six, bro. He had two pick sixes. It was pretty insane. Third season had two picks. And then, yeah, last two seasons, nothing. So... The Bears in the draft, you got Jaquan Brisker, who I like, I mean, bro, he's super dope. Uh, I I can't lie. I mean, uh, I'm very big on him. He is, he, he's just got that swagger. He's just got something about him. He's dope as hell, Penn State guy. And we'll see how he does this season because I think he's going to really emerge. Um, you know, honestly, might even win rookie defense player of the year. Like, uh, you know. World's his oyster. Kyler Gordon with the first round pick, and he's a cornerback out of Washington. Very excited for him as well. I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be another like really solid player. I know Eric and I, you know, we'll talk about these guys a lot. I know Eric's really big on Jaquan Brisker, as he should be, but Kyler Gordon's one of those guys who is kind of just floating, like he's kind of below the radar. For some reason, being the first first round pick for the Bears in this year's draft like he's flying pretty below the radar like I think there's I mean clearly there's hype around him but like you know Jaquan Brisker Vilas Jones like those two guys I think both of them I could be wrong I did just move out of Chicago like but it was yesterday so I feel like those two guys are getting a lot more hype a lot more attention than Kyler Gordon and you know, Kyler's going to be, I think he's going to be really solid for him as well. So the Bears got a lot of help, a lot of future help, especially at the just secondary position. And we'll see how Eddie Jackson can bounce back this year. You know, maybe it was the number change. It's a clear joke. Uh, the good thing about Eddie Jackson, you don't have to worry about, I'm going to knock on what is this is, injuries like longevity. This is a guy who I think he's going to have a very long career in the NFL. Um, this past season played in and started in 14 games. He had two pass deflections, a forced fumble, 76 combined tackles, 54 of them solo, four tackles for loss. And yeah, so it's not like he's it's not like he's playing bad by any means. It's not like he's he's bad. You know, he's just fear like technically, especially at the interception column, you know, not you know, he's not getting six. So that was a crazy ass sophomore campaign. Six picks, two of them pick sixes in your second year. But you know how these Alabama cats are. You know how these Nick Saban boys. You know how they play. They they mature. They age in the NFL like a fine wine. He gets them right. He gets them disciplined. They're smart dudes. They know what they're doing. And yeah, it's just I mean SEC in general, but especially Alabama. So Eddie Jackson, five years in. This will be his sixth year. It's a pretty big year. I will say that it's a pretty big year. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't go as far to say that he's been bad in the last two seasons at all. I guess he's struggled at times. I think that's a little bit better better wording. But I, I do think this next season is going to be very important for Eddie. The good news is, like I said, Dr. E came out and said, clean slate. He's looking good right now. Like, just clean slate, right? Clean slate. So... That's it for today. Let me know what you guys think about Eddie Jackson for this upcoming season. Would love to hear your thoughts. I think we're like four subs away from 1,000, so uh, appreciate all the new subscribers and appreciate our current and existing subs for making that happen and making it possible. So appreciate y'all. Hit the like button. Hit that sub button. I'll see you guys later.